this kind of book? Yes, please. Hey everyone, this is James from Ruining Books. Happy New Year! Thanks a lot for joining me on this new video review. I hope you guys are all well and uh, let's jump straight into it. So today we'll be looking at the signed limited edition of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Children of Húrin. So let's go! The Children of Húrin was first published as a standalone story back in 2007. As many Tolkien readers know, the original story featured first in chapter 21 of the Silmarillion back in 1977. A more expanded version of the story was later released in the Unfinished Tales in 1980, and in 2007 we got this standalone edition of the story. Besides this particular release, there are also the paperback and standard back formats, as well as the deluxe hardback edition. So this particular edition was published by HarperCollins and was limited to 500 copies. Each copy is signed by Christopher Tolkien as editor and Alan Lee as the illustrator. As we can see, the book comes in an embossed custom leather clamshell case with the helm of Hador at the front with gold and red foil, while the inside of the case is covered in this beautiful blue suede. The book itself is leather bound in goatskin and hand sewn with this hardback cover. We also have the raised spine ribs over here. And inside the book contains the original standalone story of Narni Khin Khurin. The text is also printed on superior acid free paper with gold edged pages and marbled end papers. It also includes a matching silk ribbon marker to ensure you're always on the right page. Now, the text is accompanied by 8 color plates and 25 black and white illustrations by Alan Lee, together with a fold out map of the lands of Beleriand. As is uh, typical of many Tolkien books edited by Christopher, besides the story itself, the book contains genealogies, an appendix with two essays by Christopher Tolkien, and a list of names. A quick note that all illustrations, genealogies and appendices are included in every other format of this book, including both the paperback and standard and deluxe hardback editions. So that's the book in a nutshell. Now, I have a few words for the story itself. I mean, this is Tolkien, so you know what to expect. I always thought and still believe that this is the darkest and most complex of his tales in terms of storytelling and character journeys. Uh, if you've read the shorter version in The Silmarillion and Unfinished Tales, you won't find much that is new with regards to the story. But I always thought the Children of Húrin deserved its own standalone release. So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this review. Click down below to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers!